Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 29th, okay? But keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. This reading could happen at any time. I, and I often will say that these readings play out for me a few days later, sometimes even up to a week. I had something play out today that I read for a daily probably, I didn't look it up, but I'd say four or five days ago. And today it happened like clockwork. So, uh, keep that in mind. So what do we have for a message today? Eight of Swords reversed, liberation, freedom, an obstacle being removed. Ten of Cups. Four of Coins. Somebody's been really stubborn. They've been holding on to something. But this is this is escaping. So it is, it feels like this is letting go. It's letting go of something. Holding on for safety reasons. Somebody was holding on to something because it was safe. Maybe even obsessed. Obsessed. Somebody may have been obsessed. But this is this is breaking free from some sort of trap. Happiness is in the future. Has to do with a family situation or a relationship or something that... Uh, I think it has to do with a family or a relationship. Ace of Swords reversed. death so this is an ending it's a it's a it's a major ending a profound life change it's about happiness this is the end of a relationship it is it is somebody has been trapped maybe held back by fear restricting themselves this could also be the end of restrictions the end of confinement the end of end of staying in a situation that was safe or stable this is stepping into unknown territory in the name of happiness right it's about happiness there could be a reconnection with family endings lead to new beginnings there's been some chaos or confusion, the Ace of Swords reversed, a lack of communication or a lack of clarity. Also, a poor decision has been made, but this is, uh, or somebody has given their power away. But this is in the future. Happiness is in the future. Somebody needs to take their power back and break free from the fear. Because that is breaking free from fear. This is an obstacle being removed and the obstacle is fear. Okay, that's the obstacle. This person can leave at any time. They have chosen to stay. They can they can step outside. They can do whatever they want. But this person hasn't, you know, has been wearing a mask and hasn't been opening up, they've been very stubborn or playing it safe, but now this is like stepping out. This is the end of restriction. It's the end of confinement. We have a new beginning here that leads to happiness. Let's clarify this Ace of Swords reversed. Page of Cups. Now, the Page of Cups is welcome news, right? It's being playful, flirting, uh, 
opening up emotionally, expressing feelings. This is a message of love or, you know, well, this is synchronicity on it. This is happy news. It's following the heart, trusting the gut. We may have somebody here that has is intuitively guided. The page of cups is intuitive. They have not been making the right decision. There's been a lack of clarity. Maybe they've been confused about a relationship. But I feel like it's the end of confusion. This is removing the restriction. Somebody is breaking free from something that has kept them trapped. This is the end of that confusion. It's the end of staying put. We have a new beginning here that does lead to happiness. And it could be love. Okay, it could be love. Whatever, or it could be news of a child. There is good news that is coming, okay? This is welcome news. It is unexpected news. This is opportunities of love that are coming, okay? And it's unseen. It is unseen. So there isn't, there's opportunity for love here. And this is, or emotional support or happiness. Love is not just a partner, okay? Love, <laughs> if you want to get, love really comes from yourself, but what I see is there is somebody else here that is going to be offering their emotional feelings, okay? They're going to be expressing their feelings. They could be falling in love. They could be meeting somebody unexpectedly. There is freedom from a situation that has been very confining this, this freedom leads to a new beginning in, in love. Or it's emotional, it's happy. It's a happy new beginning, whatever it is. Hoo-hoo! The emperor reverse, we have a corrupt leader here. This is somebody that is in a position of authority that has abused their power. It says domination on this card. The emperor in reverse is a tyrant that imposes rules that are uh, not for everybody's good. Okay, this is somebody that uh, may engage in criminal activity for their own good or you know, to stay in a position of power and does not care who they hurt as long as they have that position of power. Now, the ending could come for this emperor in reversed. I mean, it's right there. The death card and somebody may have done something for money. They may have done something for financial stability, you know. Or they, yeah, I feel like it has to. This is a greedy, this is a miser. A greedy miser that has done something um, this person has done something um, corrupt. There is an ending for this person. And the ending could be uh, somebody leaving them. Okay, somebody because of that eight of swords reversed. Somebody could be leaving their life, could be a family member, could be a relationship. Somebody this emperor in reverse is a tyrant, perhaps a narcissist, somebody that is abusive, that is very dominant, domin domineering. This person um, is controlling, uh, disorderly. Uh, doesn't make wise decisions or makes this well it doesn't make wise decisions is for sure this person is uh, 
I feel like this person is, is having an ending in one of their relationships. Maybe their relationship is ending. There, there's a, or there's an ending in their family, you know, because they're mirroring each other. And this ending is death. It's a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. This is very emotional. This is chaos and confusion, a poor decision. This person that has abused their power, that has made a poor decision, is definitely losing something. They're losing their power over an individual or individuals that they have caused some sort of mental despair, okay, or something like that, or fear. This person may have instilled fear. This is lack of awakening. But this is intuition and gut and opportunities for love. So I feel like there, and this is a spiritual blessing. When you have a rainbow, it means there's been some stormy weather. The storm is over. Here comes the light. Here comes the sun. Okay, this is, this is a renewal. Okay. So we do have a new beginning here after an ending. Somebody is going to be losing their power. You notice this emperor is connected to the ace of swords reversed. The ace of swords reversed is a loss of power. There's been dishonesty. There's been a lack of truth. There's been corruption. And I feel like that there's some sort of light that is being shed on the corruption. Or there's a major profound change because death is a profound change. This emperor, whoever this emperor is, could be a father, could be a boss, could be uh, whoever, whoever this person is. It could even be a mother. This is somebody that has uh, been put in a position of authority that they are not experienced to be in. They don't have the experience to be in it. This is criminal activity for one's own good. But this, this is synchronicity. There's been a lack of truth. There's been dishonesty. I really feel like this is some sort of reveal that causes a separation because this is an ending. It's an ending for this narcissist or this tyrant who has abused their power. They are losing power. They are losing their control over a situation. And they could get angry. Okay, the emperor in reverse could be angry. But there is an obstacle that is being removed. Somebody has been held back by fear. Somebody has been held back by fear, but the fear is dissipating. talk no action right here I was just clarifying we have somebody that is all talk and no action page of swords reversed the page of swords is we, this emperor is going to be caught off guard there's an enemy here we have a hostile situation we have a liar we have somebody that has some mental health issues that may be doing something uh Well, obviously dishonest. We do have somebody here that is dishonest and they're going to be reacting from their emotions. It's going to be an emotional time. Some sort of chaos is coming. There's an enemy here. The page of swords in reverse is an enemy. This card says all talk and no action. That is this emperor who has abused their power. This person talks a good talk, but they don't have any experience to follow through with what they say. This emperor needs to be ready, needs to be ready because I feel like there's some sort of chaos that is coming. This, yeah, this, this emperor is about to experience an ending. 
think it has to do with a family situation. It could be a family feud here as well. It's time for a new life. It's time to break free. Break free. Letting go. We have a new life here, a new beginning here that comes after. I feel like there's some news that's coming. When I see the page of swords reverse, a message is coming. Somebody's going to receive some, some news that is not what they want to hear. I feel like there's going to be an unexpected conflict for this emperor that has abused their power. Bad news. This is bad news. Now, the Page of Cups is good news. There's bad news and there's good news. This is bad news and this is good news. So there's bad news and there's good news. We have somebody that has abused their power. This person is going is experiencing. Now, this person, you get what you deserve, right? This person is experiencing a loss of some sort. They are about to lose something of value. I feel like they gained this. Through some sort of trap. Because of that eight of swords. Deceitfully. Because the seven of swords comes before the eight of swords. Somebody gained their position of authority through shady, sneaky, slippery behavior. And I feel like whoever it is that they're dealing with is now um, removing themselves from the situation. Or something. They're breaking free. They're reevaluating. Eight of Swords in reverse is reevaluation. There's some sort of reevaluation going on that is going to uh, break somebody free of some sort of trap where they were trapped. They were trapped and they were held back by fear. I feel like fear is, okay, fear is being released. Fear is being released. Chaos and confusion. Emotional news is coming. It is emotional, okay? There is some sort of emotional news that is coming. The storm is over. It's time to live. There's a chance for happiness here. Happiness is what matters. There's been a, some lies. There's been a lack of clarity. And there's been a lot of noise. And I think things are about to quiet down. Seven of Cups reverse. Now this is becoming clear. This is clarity. Seeing very, very clearly. There's been confusion. There's been illusion. Mirroring the death card. This is the end of confusion. This is the end of illusion. There is some, I feel like there is some sort of truth that is coming out about a tyrant or a narcissist or an abusive individual who has abused their power this person has made a poor choice there is some sort of consequences here seven of cups consequences for poor choices somebody did not choose wisely they did not make the right decision it was not logical and there's some sort of uh, consequences for that this person right here that has abused their power is going to be dealing with a conflict in their relationship or in their home or something like that. And they're Somebody's escaping. 
They're escaping the confinement, the restriction, the restriction. I'm not going to be restricted. I'm going to live. Mm. Ah, illusion. I knew that it was. Okay. It's interesting because I was seeing this card a minute ago, about maybe two minutes ago. That's what I was seeing. I was seeing the moon. I kept seeing the moon, but I didn't have the card. So here it is. All is not as it seems. Proceed with caution. There are unseen problems ahead for this person that has abused their power. There's definitely been some lies. And we have, some, we have somebody that has been wearing a disguise. But this is right now. It's illusion. Something is about to be revealed that has been hidden. Follow your gut. Gut is here. Here and here. Somebody's gut is going to guide them or something like that. Guide them to do something. And, and if it almost feels like maybe not. It's like I got to go after happiness. I got to do what I got to do. There is some sort of illusion. There's some sort of uh, abuse. This is breaking free from the control. Facing fears. And we have somebody here that has instilled fear. This person has instilled fear, has made somebody afraid. But that is the end, okay? The end. Tens are completions. I know a lot of people forget to mention that. Tens are completions. This is the end. And we have an ending here, too. So right next to the illusion. End, end, illusion. End, end, fear. This person that has controlled is about to lose. They're losing their power. They're losing their control. There's also addictions here. I mean, I gotta be honest. This can be addictions. This is somebody that is out of control. The emperor in reverse is either overly controlling or out of control and very impulsive. This could be the death. We could also have somebody here that hasn't been able to control an addiction. And maybe this is the end of being out of control and stepping into unknown territory. out of self-love to heal from an addiction. You know, if I could go all day. There is, somebody may receive news about a child as well. I'm mean, hate to say that, but we have, a, we have the page of swords and the page of cups that's child or children. Somebody has ignored an opportunity. They have missed an opportunity. They have chosen not to accept an opportunity, but it feels like there is some sort of revelation here. This is definitely the end of waiting. It is. It's the end of waiting. It's the end of staying in this situation. It's time to live. It's time for a new life. And I do see a new life here, and I do see consequences as well. This is it's, something is going to be made very, very clear that was hidden and there is happiness to be had. This could be emotional support, okay? This could be a nurse or a counselor that is assisting somebody. Anyway. This is an ending that leads to a new beginning. I feel like this is going to, and it says bewilderment here. Yeah, I feel like you are going to be surprised by some news that you receive.
This is making a choice. Somebody is going to be making a choice based on some sort of clarity that they receive in regards to a deceptive situation, whether it's an addiction or a person that they've been dealing with. This is a day of breaking free from something that has kept somebody stuck or confined or restricted. Restricted. This is freedom. I mean, it is freedom. Good luck.